I felt we've had, uh, you know, our spring spring uh, spring season. I felt like we, we had some guys get get better, and uh, you know, we had a lot of guys come out, come back over the summer and, and uh, you know, work on the game and work in the weight room, be with Coach Ev in the weight room and, and work on their body. And, you know, and then uh, a lot of our new guys got in uh, fairly early, early August, and uh, were able to. Uh, um, you know, be around each other and, and get on the court. But I uh, felt like we've had a good, uh, good preseason here, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's early and got a long ways to go. But I think you know we we, we fixed some things as far as uh, our um, things we needed in, in recruiting, as far as some, some size, bringing in some big kids, and uh, you know, recruiting another, another point guard. Um, you know, losing cues kind of kind of hurt us a little bit, but uh, you know, having. Uh, Jordan uh, Fryson come in from Memphis, and you know Max, who was sitting out uh, uh, last year with a with a broken foot, you know, will uh, help fill that void for us. Um, you know, I think it's just taking it one day at a time. You know, our whole our whole, whole concept, our whole idea is just making sure we we, we win the day and, and we get better each and every day. We step foot on the practice floor, and that's the that's a challenging thing as a coach and as a team to, to when things get boring and get things get monotonous in practice. That you gotta you gotta overcome that. And remember why you're doing it, and um, you know our guys want to. Uh, Want to want to do something uh, with uh, some success, and, and uh, you know, if you really want it, uh, you got to remember uh, remember your why, and, and uh, hopefully our guys can uh, continue to continue to work on that throughout the, uh, the season. It's been good, you know. Uh, you know, uh, the first uh, our, our first year was obviously rough, but um, you know we brought in seven new guys, and, and uh, you know feel more comfortable with just uh, you know family being settled in Pittsburgh, and. and uh, um, girls in school and, and uh, just know a little bit more on the, you know, the way things work at work at Pitt. It's, it's been a lot easier, but uh, um, you know, just excited to excited to get going and, and uh, enjoying enjoying where I'm at. How's that acclimation been? Getting these the guys that are already on the team and like you said, some of these seven of these new guys coming in. How's that been? Just getting these guys acclimated with each other and getting the chemistry on the court. Well, a lot of it just with new guys is trying to get them to understand the way we do things, just the pace that we try to do things, and um, you know, offensively, defensively, the concepts uh, that we're trying to put in, and, and um, you know, the things that we're telling them, trying not to get it to, to the situation where we got to compete, can, you know, constantly tell them things over and over and over again, where they can, uh, you know, be coachable enough to understand it and figure it out and do it on the court. But uh, you know, I, I feel like uh, you know the new guys have have, have, uh, have done a, a great job of meshing in with uh, with the guys we had returning and. and um, you know they're they're uh, they're learning each and every day. It's a slow process, but uh, you know it's a it's a good process for them. What do you guys kind of need to do to kind of take the next step for that point mentality? Well, I, I think it's just consistency, consistency in, in in our everyday approach to to the game, and understand we got to have a passion about it. We got to have a, a commitment, a drive to, to getting better each and every day. Like I said, we did we did improve and getting some size. I felt like Tane, you know, at the end of the year last year, getting. Uh, Getting some valuable, valuable time and some starts late in the year. Uh, you know, if he'd have stayed stayed out of foul trouble, he probably would have played a lot more. Um, but I, I feel that was uh, that was so valuable for him to to be able to get in and, and be a part of that. Because I thought he did some really good things. You know, the game against Southern, our place, he had 12 and I think 10 and 10 in the first half and uh, got in foul trouble there in the second half and really couldn't didn't play him much. But um, you know, he he, he grew a, a grew a ton. You know, Marquis obviously hopefully we can get the same type of Marquis back. Um, as far as an all NYAA performer, and then uh, you know just mixing in those mixing in those other guys uh, with the size and the, the, the speed and athleticism that uh, we think we have. You know, you talked about kind of the size and also you know kind of recruiting some new point guards. Uh, but you know, is size kind of more for kind of de defensively rim protector, or are you guys kind of playing on you know pounding into the paint more this season? A uh, little of everything. You know, um, you know at Southern I felt like we were. Um, a team that really threw it in the post a lot. And obviously, when you have a guy like Cam uh, Martin, uh, that's something that you want to take advantage of. But I feel like you know we got uh, <clears throat> you know we got some some bigs you know, that uh, you know we can throw the ball to. Last year, I didn't feel like we we, we had that option. You know, a lot of times when we threw it in. It was more to get movement and to create something out on the perimeter. But this year, I feel like you know we do have some guys, some bigs that we can throw it into and, and say, hey, let's go try to get a bucket and. Uh, uh, defensive rebound was another thing that really hurt us uh, last year, just uh, not being able to, to rebound with a lot of teams. And Marquis being our leading rebounder at 6'5", 6'6", uh, you know, we, we got to have somebody in there that can consistently go and get uh, uh, defensive rebounds and, and, and fly around. And then obviously just, uh, you know, not necessarily a rim protector, but somebody with uh, some size down down inside to really bother some bother some shots. And, uh, you know, Tom Aiden, I thought, did a pretty good job of protecting the rim. And, and Henry, a 6'11 six, uh, six kid from, from, from Arkansas, and, and Big Red from from, from uh, Seminole State, you know, um, not great shot blockers, but at the same time got really long arms and can contest uh, contest the rim. Yeah, coach. Uh, you know, in practice, who's kind of 
the one guy to kind of bring the energy to kind of liven up the practice and get it going? You know, uh, one guy that's consistent every single day is RJ. RJ brings it uh, every single day with his voice, his energy. He's always the first one to come from, to come from weights every day. And he comes into the gym, he's the first one in the gym, you know, uh, getting shots up. And, and uh, you just like you like to see that. You know, I know the kid that, uh, you know, we brought in semester last year, Tanner Manns, uh, transferred from VMI. He's uh, very energetic, very outspoken, uh, very competitive, almost too competitive to a fault sometimes. He gets a little, little, uh, little, uh, little antsy and a little, uh, pushy a little bit with our other guys, but uh, it's, it's been nice to see. I feel like our, our practices have been a, a ton more competitive than